Today, we're going to talk about safety while refueling vehicles and equipment. Now, there are some uh, pretty straightforward safety rules to observe while you're refueling a vehicle or another piece of equipment, whether you're at work or at home. Uh, there are also some rules that are not perhaps so, quite so obvious. But here's an overview of some of the precautions you should be keeping in mind anytime you're refueling a vehicle or a piece of equipment. First of all, I think this probably is fairly obvious, uh, no smoking. Uh, the burning cigarette can ignite uh, flammable vapors that are emitted from the liquid fuel, causing a flash fire and explosion to occur. Uh, also make certain there are no other potential sources of ignition, such as open flames or spark producing equipment operating in the area, as they too can ignite uh, a fire or an explosion. Then only use safety cans or other approved portable fuel containers such as those marked as DOT approved for transporting and transferring fuels to refuel vehicles and equipment. Uh, unapproved containers can easily leak, spill fuel, or even rupture, leading to a potentially dangerous situation. So uh, the cans that we buy with the spring on the top and the uh, OSHA approval, those are the ones we want you to use. Uh, then also always kill the engine of the vehicle or the equipment before you refuel, also be certain to let portable equipment such as uh, lawnmowers or generators or chainsaws or blowers or trimmers or anything else with a fuel powered engine cool down uh, before you add fuel to the tank. Uh, spilling liquid fuel on a hot motor instantly creates a cloud of highly flammable vapor which can easily catch fire or explode. So before dispensing, also dis before dispensing fuel into your car or truck, be sure to touch a metal part away from the fuel tank on your vehicle or equipment with your bare, bare hand. This helps dissipate any static buildup on your body created when you slid out of your vehicle. Also touch the gas dispenser nozzle or hose to the fill tube on the gas tank before you start to add fuel to the tank and keep it in contact through the entire refueling process. This step uh, helps prevent hazardous static electricity from building up and causing a spark in the vapor area as you refuel. Then never dispense fuel into a can or other portable container while it's sitting in your vehicle, truck or truck bed. Doing so allows hazardous static electricity to build up. Instead, sit the container on the ground and then add the fuel. These are just some things we wanna keep in mind. Uh, this is a common practice. We're fueling things all the time, either trucks or generators or other things. So uh, keep these in mind so that we can uh, maintain safety while we refuel.